What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am the Bald Ginger. We're jumping back into some road to the show here. We've got a three-game set against the Pirates, who are just doing horrible so far this season. They have an 8-26 and 26 record. Wow. I hate to say it, but I think we're going to sweep them on the road here. They've barely been able to win you know, 0.9 games per series they've played. And that curveball there, starting me off with the ball. It's a 1-0 count now. The Pittsburgh pitcher does have a 97 mile an hour four seamer and he'll hit 94 with the two seamer. Everything else is below 85. And a perfect, perfect swing on that one right down the middle. And it finds the cheap seats, kids. And there's a two run dinger to get the scoring started here in the top of the first in Pittsburgh. All right, runners on the corners now. In the top of the third, score is still two to nothing after that two-run dinger in the first, and they're gonna walk me to load the bases with nobody out. Oof! Pittsburgh's not having a good time here. Ronzi Contreras getting just demolished on the mound. Bottom half of the inning now. St. Louis is up five to nothing now. We scored three runs in the top half of the third. Runners around first and second, though, for David Liriano at the plate. He's got a 1-2 pitch on the way with nobody out. Puts one into the gap here, but that's not too tough to get to. And the runner's not going to try advancing from second because that was pretty shallow. All right. Score is 5-1 now. Runners on the corners. Pittsburgh still at the plate in the bottom of the third. Michael Chavis here at the plate. He's 0-1 on the day. There's two outs. He's got a 1-1 pitch on the way. And he gets a ground ball up and makes its way out into right field. That's going to score the run. Definitely no chance of getting it out there. The score is now 5-2. to two. Getting up into the fourth inning now. I'm at the plate again with two outs and runner on first. The score is 5-4 to four with St. Louis on top. All right. 96 mile an hour four-seamer from this reliever on the mound. Nothing else quick. His cutter is only 88 miles an hour like his circle change. We watch a four-seamer just up and in off the plate. That's ball one. Let's see what we get here. Pitch number two. That one's well below the knees of a four-seamer. And 2-0 count is what it's going to be at this point. Another one below the knees here with the four-seamer. That makes it a 3-0 count. Do we take on principle on this one since he has not found the zone yet? I don't know. Nope, I swung at that one right at the knees. That one probably could have gone either way. So now we got a 3-1 count late on that swing, fouling it off down the right field line. And pitch number five of the at-bat. Here we go. Four-seamer at the top of the zone there, swung late on it again. And now we got a full count. Runner is going to be in motion on the pitch. If I get a gapper here, it should score the run. Swinging at the four-seamer just off the plate away. Oof. We're taking the 3-2 pitch again. Pitch number seven in this at-bat. Just checking on the runner at first. Come on, man. Don't worry about him. You can get me to ground out. Heck, if you throw the right pitch, I might even strike out for you. I'm pretty good at that. But here we go. 3-2 count. Circle change below the knees. Timing was decent. That's probably the only reason I made contact with it. We're doing the 3-2 pitch again. Pitch number eight of this at bat. Fouling off the circle change I was just a smidge out in front of. And we're going to be doing it yet again. Pitch number nine of this at bat. Fouling off a cutter just below the knees. Oh, man. If I could keep the bat on my shoulders, I would have been walked a long time ago. But pitch number 10, full count still in effect here. Let's go. See what we can do here. Fouling off yet another one, forcing her in the upper part of the zone. Oh boy, pitch number 11. We're making them work for this one, that's for sure. And we end up drawing the walk with the four-seamer away. We'll take it. Lots of pitches thrown there and not a lot to show for it. Top of the six coming up to the plate now. Scores eight to five. Cardinals on top. Runner on first, two away. Got a new to me pitcher on the mound. He's got a 93 mile an hour four seamer. Uh, nothing else too quick. The sinker's 91, but he's got a curveball that will not hit 80 miles an hour. And there's a circle change at 84. I was 
just a smidge late on that one, but it was on the inside part of the plate, so fouled it off for strike number one. Ooh, another circle change just below the knees there. Smidge late on the timing again, fouling it off. It's an O to count. What are we going to get for pitch number three? Four-seamer just above the zone, and I was late on the swing there. Oh, man. It's a nail-biter here. 0-2 pitch again. And we'll take that slider inside. No problem. All right, working it back to a 1-2 and two count here. Fouling one off just over the outside corner. Four-seamer, it says there. All right, one for one on the game because I drew that walk earlier in the game. We take the four-seamer inside here to work the count back to even two and two after six pitches. Oh, got me looking at one just above the knees. All right, you earned it. I'll tip my cap for that. Bottom half of the seventh inning here, two out, runner on second for Pittsburgh. Nick Gonzalez at the plate, oh, one pitch on the way. He puts one out into right field. Not too hard to get to this one. That ends the seventh inning with the score 8-5. to five. Cardinals in the lead. Top of the ninth, two away. I'm back up to the plate again. One for two on the day after getting the strikeout and being walked earlier. Uh, pitcher for the Pirates has a 98-mile-an-hour four-seamer, 90-mile-an-hour on the circle change, and a slider that hits the low 80s. Uh, circle change there, well below the knees. That's ball one. A uh, four-seamer this time, almost the exact same location there for with that pitch when it crossed the plate. Also, ball two. Ooh, swung at the four-seamer well above the zone there, way late on the swing. It is now a 2-1 count instead of 3-0. All right, here we go, pitch number four. Oh, swing and a miss on the four-seamer just off the plate on the inside part, way behind it. He's hitting me with the gas, and there ain't nothing I can do to catch up to it. A uh, little bit better timing on that four-seamer at the very top of the zone. Still a 2-2 count here. Pitch number six in this at-bat on the way. Easy take well above the zone. Count is full in the top of the ninth. Got Nolan Arenado on deck. Let's see what happens here. Oh, giving a good healthy ride out to left field. Out in front of that slider just a little bit. No dice trying to bring that one back, kids. It's now a 9-5 to five ball game. We'll take the home run anytime we can get our bat on one. All right. So that's the first game of the series. 9-5, to five, the final score. Cardinals on top. We're jumping into game number two. All right. Top of the first here in game two. Score is still tied at zero. We got a runner on second. Only one out. Mitch Keller on the mound for the Pirates. He's got a 97 mile an hour four seamer. Nothing else too quick. The circle change will hit 90 though. And a swing and a miss on the four seamer on the in, off the inside corner of the strike zone. Uh, let's see what we get here on the 0-1 pitch here. That's an easy take. Curveball way outside. Yeah. Come on, big fella. Give me something good to swing at. I'd love to make a little more contact here. Oh, swing and a miss on the four-seamer way inside. I was all geared up like, yeah, he's going to hit me with the curveball, and I'm going to juice that puppy over the wall. Nope, no dice on that one. Swing and a miss on the slider just outside of the zone, low and away. He earns the strikeout. Of course, got me all jumpy here. Make contact with every swing and record a hit, or do we hit the double or better? We'll try to make contact with every swing with the game tied at one here in the top of the third. There's nobody out, nobody on. And, uh, yeah, it's up to me to get things started here. Swing and a, well, not a miss, but fouling it off the four-seamer up and inside in the zone there. Let's see what we get here with pitch number two with an 0-1 count after fouling that one off. Oh, swing and a miss on the four-seamer inside. There goes the challenge. Yeah, 0-2 pitch here. He's got me on the ropes. I'll put one out into right field anyway. Going to at least make him work for it. Yeah, he made the catch. Dang it. Wasn't sure with the way they had the running animation going there when I got to first base. 
All right. Top of the fourth. We're up four to three now. Runs are not at coming at a premium today. And I ground out to the third baseman on the first pitch of the at-bat to end the top half of the fourth. I'm having a lackluster day at the plate today. We're coming back in the bottom of the six here. Bubba Chandler at the plate. He had a sack fly earlier in the game, and he's 0 for 1 otherwise. Got an 0-2 pitch coming to him here with nobody out and nobody on. Puts one out into right field, but that's an easy play for one away. All right, I'm coming back up to the plate here in the top half of the seventh. Score is still 4-3. to three. Cardinals, nobody out, nobody on. New pitcher on the mound. He's got a 96-mile-an-hour four-seamer. Nothing else faster than 86. That was not 86. That was a 95-mile-an-hour four-seamer. It definitely had me way behind it. And I found a hole through the left side there to get a single to start off the inning. We'll take that. All right. <clears throat> score is now 5-3, to three, bottom of the seventh. I'm assuming that means they knocked me around to score a run there in the top half. Hermine Vizcaino at the plate here with nobody out, nobody on. 0-2 pitch on the way for him. And he puts a good charge into this one, but lots of air underneath it. Got to it with no problem to make the easy play for one away. All right, I'm going back to, up to the plate here in the top of the ninth. Score is still 5-3. to three. There's a runner on first, but nobody out. Pitcher's got a 97-mile-an-hour four-seamer, 96 on the two-seamer, and a slider that'll bump 90. And I swing at the slider just below the knees. Decent timing on it, which is why it was fouled away. So now it's an 0-1 count. Let's see what we get here for pitch number two. Another slider outside the zone away. So that's strike two. It's not looking pretty here. He's probably going to hit me with the gas up and in. Yep, four-seamer inside. All right. It's now a one-two count. That four-seamer was an easy take. Whoa, another one way up and in. That evens it up at two and two. And John Curtis is the Pittsburgh pitcher here. He's only thrown seven pitches in the inning so far. Ooh, tough take on the four-seamer. Just off the plate away, just above the knees. It's a full count with nobody out. Let's go, boys. And fouling off the four-seamer that was in the zone there. Late swing on it. So we're going to do the 3-2 pitch again. Pitch number seven in this at-bat. And we chop one through the right side there. That's going to be a base hit. Runner holds up at second. There's runners on first and second to start the ninth now. Bottom half of the inning score is still 5 to 3. We got Carmine Vizcaino at the plate again. He's 1 for 4 on the day. We got a runner on first, one away, and a 1 1 pitch. There's a whole lot of ones going on there. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get to this one. Sliding catch. That was cool. All right. <laughs> That's the uh, second out. Let's watch this on the replay here. Bringing out the stat cast for the slide. 99.8% route efficiency. Okie dokie. So that's the end of that game. Number two. We win it 5-3. to three. And we're heading on to game number three. See if we can complete the sweep here in Pittsburgh. Alright. Come on, loading screens. There we go. First inning, two out, nobody on. Got a 322 batting average coming into this game. Adonis Medina on the mound for Pittsburgh. He's got a 95 mile an hour four seamer, 95 on the sinker, and a couple of really kinky little off speed ones. He's got a slur that's going to be, I'm sure, a bane of my existence while he's on the mound today. But I watched that four seamer there above the knees, right down the middle of the plate for 0 1. Take the slider inside, that evens it up 1 and 1. He's already thrown a dozen pitches to this point. It's not a bad thing in my mind. We're going to make him throw a bunch of them. Because, you know, hey, high pitch counts will get you pulled from the game. That's the way they play it now. And another four-seamer inside after throwing a first pitch strike. He's not even threatening to hit the zone here. 3-1 pitch on the way. 
Yep, I watch all five pitches he showed me, and I end up on first base. We'll take it. Bottom of the second now. Pittsburgh is up one to nothing. There's a run around first, two away. David Liriano at the plate. They've batted around in this game already. Holy cow. Puts a little groove into this one in the shallow right field, but that's an easy play for me to end the second inning. All right. Top of the third. Still one to nothing. Runner on first. Two away here. Adonis Medina is still on the mound. We're going to try to advance the runner, but that means I'm going to get a base hit. And here we go. He still has the same arsenal from the first inning. Who knew? Oh, put a good groove into that slider there. It's out in the left center field. Are they going to be able to make the play? He is on the warning track, just short of the home run. Wow, put it into the deepest part of the field there, too. That's not the brightest thing I've done today. All right, here we go. Runners on the corners tied at one in the top of the fifth. Only one out. Drive in a run. I think that's the one we're going to do if they don't walk me. And there it is, the intentional walk to load the bases with only one out. All right. And we're up two to one now in the top of the seventh. Nobody on. One out. I've been walked twice here, and I'm 0 for 1 otherwise with that long fly ball to left center field. All right. Braxton Garrett on the mound here. He's got a 93 mile an hour four seamer. Sinker only hits 91. He's got a curveball that will not make it to 80 miles an hour. Let's see what we get here. We got that curveball at 77. Over the outside corner of the plate there. Great pitch. Had me way out in front. And watching the four-seamer just off the plate inside. Evens it up at one and one. Ooh, still looking for my first hit in this one, and that is not going to be it. Call that a 3-1. Put out with the ground ball to the right side. Bottom half of the eighth inning now. Still 2-1 to the score. Cardinals on top, but the Pirates are threatening here. Michael Chavis at the plate. He's one for three on the day, but he's got runners on first and second and only one away. 1-2 pitch on the way there. He puts a little drive into this one out into right field. And yep, we're just going to hit the cutoff, man, because I don't think the runner's going to try to advance. Nope, he did not. And we end up taking the win and completing the sweep in Pittsburgh with a 2-1 score in game number three. Well, that's something we obviously really needed after a rough series in New York against the Mets. So, yeah, we're going to see if we can take this little three-game win streak we've got going on into the next series because this one's over. And so since this one's over, that's also going to be the end of this episode. If you're still watching, thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate you being here. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all of the fun social media things, and we will see you in the next one.